Ironically, many men worry excessively about staying single until the very end, especially when they are nearing or in their 30s. These men believe that they are either too old to build relationships or have lost their capabilities in that direction. Many of us have had negative experiences and past relationships that can affect our present. Men who have had negative experiences sometimes lose faith in their own abilities. It pains me to see how many single men, who are actually still young and in the prime of their lives, stop believing that they have a chance to find a worthy partner. Sometimes they rate themselves too low, believing that no one needs them at that age anymore. I want to dispel this myth, because 30, 40, and even 50 years for a man is not a critical age for building a personal life. A man does not have to have children, and he does not have to depend on other people. Therefore, if he takes himself in hand, he can be independent and enjoy life. This video will be inspirational to convince each of you that age is just numbers to a man and it's never too late to change your life for the better. If you tell someone from Asia that I am old at 40 or 50, they will laugh. After all, in many developed countries around the world, men in their 60s and 70s look great. And these men have not necessarily led a healthy lifestyle all their lives. But surely at some point they chose the right path. You can ruin your life even at 30 if you don't make conclusions for yourself. But you can change things right now after watching this video. When I say change, I mean a man doing everything he can for himself and his best life. Taking care of yourself right now is about creating a comfortable and happy future tomorrow. A man who doesn't ask himself how to get better right now can't get better. And if your life right now is not making you happy, then there is a reason that needs to be figured out. When you realize the cause, you develop your strategy. For example, if you have low self-esteem, which is common in single men, you know how you can raise your self-esteem. Nothing is impossible, especially if you are a healthy man. It is important to get rid of all the negativity in your head. If you think you are over 30 years old, you will start to get things that hurt, not because you are sick, but because you are indoctrinating yourself. Indoctrination can really cause a lot of problems. However, if you are confident in your health, live a healthy lifestyle and fill every day with positives, your quality of life will improve. If you are feeling lonely right now, feeling like no one wants you, especially if you are in your 30s or 40s, you can change that. Your efforts and striving for the best, for real change, mold you into the kind of man who attracts the attention not only of women of his own age, but also much younger. I often observe how successful men find common ground with ladies who could be their daughters, thanks to their modernity and active lifestyle. So friends, don't be downhearted, don't worry about age, considering yourself old or doomed to loneliness. The first step is to look in the nearest mirror and honestly ask yourself, what am I missing to make me a better person? Then, once you have the answer, begin to take action. Don't stop moving forward. After six months, assess your progress again by asking the same question. In this way, you constantly see yourself improving and becoming much better than you were before, gaining new perspectives. The important rule is don't stop moving forward, regardless of the weather or your mood. It is important to keep doing things that will make you a better person. This is often more difficult for women, especially if they are left out of something important as they age. Many women realize over time that they missed out on many good men in their lives who genuinely loved, respected, and appreciated them. However, many girls chase after the best option from a young age. They believe in their attractiveness and think they can find someone better, which unfortunately can lead to mistakes in choosing partners. They feel that by choosing a man with more wealth, they are making the right decision. If they swap a good guy for a scumbag, just because the latter has more money, then, in terms of instincts, they think they are doing the right thing. However, striving for money or the external beauty of a man does not always lead to positive results, especially if they leave a relationship where the man actually loved, not played a role. 
A woman may sometimes decide to have several children, but suddenly leave a man with children because of the impression that another man is more worthy and with him she will be able to provide a comfortable upbringing for the children. But often such men with money will pick up even women with children for only one reason, and that is to use her as sex. When he gets bored with such a woman, he looks for another, dumping the current one. This is why we often see divorced women, and 80% of the time the problems with divorce are due to the decisions of the woman herself. In 20% of cases, the reason may be that the man behaved unacceptably, insulted or humiliated the woman, and it became impossible to continue the relationship with him. Women should think carefully about their decisions, seeking to secure their lives and finding a more reliable and successful partner in order to be confident in the choice of a man. We men can support ourselves not only financially, but also in various other aspects by learning the skill of self-sufficiency. When we succeed, become self-sufficient, and invest in our development, we notice many single women approaching us. This is probably the only surefire way in today's reality that a woman won't leave you with a 100% guarantee. I have almost never seen a woman leave a successful man in every way. If you have your own place, financial independence, success, and good looks, 99% of the time there is no reason for girls to leave you. In such a relationship, you make your own decision whether it will continue or not. You yourself determine the key aspects in the relationship. This is the only way to create the best relationship on your own terms, where you play the main role and the woman next to you is not seeking to undermine her rights, but rather submissive to you. When a wife submits to her husband, the marriage is considered blessed by God. However, if she acts contrary to her husband's will or hides things from him, it violates the sanctity of the relationship or marriage, which can lead to its destruction. The main idea of this video is to stop worrying about the lack of a relationship. Instead of wasting your time on negative thoughts, you should put it towards beneficial activities and self-development. When you move towards success without focusing on finding a relationship and put your success above the desire to find a partner or avoid loneliness, you may find that better women will come into your life and the decision of whether or not to be around them will be left up to you. Thank you.